about a week ago, uh, Ben Taylor came and, and he, he just said, hey, uh, you know, coach, we're going to be down in Southern Illinois. Uh, you know, let's try to do something for Harrisburg. So, um, you know, originally it started out, I think, as us going over and maybe trying to, to you know, do some labor. And my thought was with game times and things that that would be tough to do. So uh, we called WCIA and uh, they partnered with us and have done a great job advertising. Uh, and we decided to, to do a food and fun drive. Uh, so we, uh, you know, we not only work with CIA, but uh, this is it furniture and, and some other people within the community. Our dugout club has done a great job. Reynolds Towing. Uh, we've had people drop off uh, not only donations uh, for Harrisburg, uh, but we've had people that have dropped off food items for the workers. Coach Hartlib and I just thought it was a natural tie-in uh, with Reed being from Harrisburg and with us going down to the Southern Illinois area to play SIU and, and NIU this coming weekend. Um, over the first end of spring break, I thought it'd be a great time to go, you know, be able to raise some money, raise some, bring together some items, and deliver them while we're down there in that area. And then when Coach Hartlib was able to to get Jennifer Roscoe and Channel Three on board, that's when it really took off. They have such a wide reach in this area, and they've been phenomenal to work with. I grew up in a town close to Harrisburg. Uh, I grew up in Benton, and I, I moved to Harrisburg during high school. And, and Spent my high school years there. It happened early in the morning, around five o'clock, and I didn't find out until until nine o'clock. And uh, actually I actually got a text message from one of my friends, uh, and they asked me if my family was okay. And, and I was like, I, mean, I, think, I think so, yeah. And, and so it was that point where uh, she, uh, my friend told me there was a tornado, and I texted my mom, and my dad, see if they're okay, and they said they were. We've had other sports that have done a great job uh, that have helped us. Soccer's been out. We've had men's and women's track out. I know we're going to have athletes from some other sports that will be coming out uh, to help us throughout the day. Uh, the community here has been awesome. Uh, it's about 2 o'clock. Uh, we start at 6 this morning. We're going to go till 7 tonight. But at this point at 2 o'clock, we've raised almost $4,000. Uh, we think we have about 3,500 pounds of food, uh, which is about half of the truck. Soccer is always kept in the loop by Kathy Kaler. Uh, she does a great job. She sent out an email just kind of letting us know about the opportunity to come out and help, um, and it's been a great experience. The team's actually in the midst of a line eye game, so the team's split in two. Um, half the girls are on the blue team, half are on the orange team, so they're using this for community service hours as well. I think I think we might need another truck. I'm just going to go out. I'm going to put that out there to the community and say we might fill up two trucks today. I think it's important for our players to understand that we need to give back uh, to the community, to the state. Uh, so many people around the state and around the, you know, the, the United States uh, do a lot of things for the university and for our athletes. It's really cool to see uh, University of Illinois Athletics and, and the community of Champaign-Urbana to, to come together in this time and um, you know, contribute um, and, and try to help some people out. And it's a long process. You know, at first it was you know, pretty devastating to, uh, to the community, but I think in this time the community is really pulled together and um, everybody's helping everybody out, and so it's, I think it's a time where um, you know, there's some devastation, but everybody's coming together and helping everybody out.